If you're a cat aspirant who's appearing for cat in the next four or five days or whenever you watch this, frankly, whenever you watch this, let me say this to you, you are late to prepare for your MBA interviews. I'm sure that you're preparing for CAT, you're appearing for CAT or any other MPA entrance exam with the hope that you'll crack that exam and you'll soon be in the interview rooms of some of the best P-schools of India. But if you've not already started to prepare for your interviews, if those interviews are already not in your head, if you're not already visualizing those interviews, then let me share with you that my dear friends, you're probably late in preparing for it. And I'm making this video right now, not so close to cat that it should frighten you completely, but with enough gap so that you do not even forget what I said. In this video, I will be first sharing with you a photograph. I want you to interpret that and share with me that what is it that you can see from it. From there, I would be giving you one or two exact things which you need to do to start off with your MBA interview preparation. And with this, you will get an idea about what are the first steps which you need to take to start preparing for the interviews. Hi, I'm Darpan Saxena, an MBA graduate from IIM Udaipur and let's get on with the video. See, first things first, when I'm saying that you need to start preparing for your MBA interviews, there are few simple things which you need to keep in your head. There are few simple things for which you don't even need to join a coaching institute for that. These are, you know, these are some of the things which you can do and you should ideally do these two things by yourself. This is a self exercise. Obviously, after that, I advise to all MBA students that if you are really serious about cracking any MBA interview, which I'm sure that you are, you need to join some preparation programs by some coaching institute so that you can practice out a lot of things. You can practice out your interviews, your GDs or whatever. All of those are very important things. Now, what are the two things? But before I say the two things that what exactly are the two things which you need which you can start off by studying right now allow me to share with you a photograph i'll be sharing with you a photograph on your screen and i want each one of you to pause the video to watch it to see it to pause the video and to comment that what can you see in that image this is very important so i'm sharing that with you right now here is the photograph i want you guys to pause the video and share with me in the comments that what is it that you infer from this photograph. I'll wait for you. Please pause it. I'm serious about it. Okay, then I hope you've already paused. You've shared with me that what is it that you infer from this. Now, let me just quickly describe this image to you. As you can see that in that entire field, what you have is a herd of sheep. Now, right at the center of this photograph, there is some sort of a gate. There is a opening and the entire herd of sheep is is trying to escape that side of the field by moving through the opening. One very interesting thing which you should observe, which you may or may not have observed is that around the gate, there is no fence. So, pure maidan mein sirf ek gate hai aur uske is taraf aur is taraf koi fence nahi hai. To chahane ko ye herd of sheep kahin se bhi ja sakte hain, but just because they're seeing the gate, they are crossing only through that. So, yes, you know, what you can see here is that this is basically a herd of sheep. There is no fence at all. There is only the gate. However, one very important thing, why am I sharing this video to you or, you know, why am I sharing this image to you will help me explain my first point, which I want you to do to start preparing for your interviews. You know what this image really is that while you might think that all of this is just a herd of sheep, the fact is that this is not just a herd of sheep. This herd of sheep, my dear friends, is you. All of you MBA aspirants, all of you MBA students who are watching this, this herd of sheep which you saw in this image is actually you. You are this herd of sheep. The fact is that the problem with you as MBA aspirants is this thing that when you're planning to go for an MBA or when you are in your MBA, the only thing which you think about from your MBA is the on-campus placements. And that's about it. And everyone on your campus is aiming only for on-campus placements, on-campus placements. But you forget that 
probably there are certain other avenues which you can also explore for yourself. Now, what are those? This is what you need to remember for yourself. That while you think that the on-campus placements is the only thing which you can get from your B school, the fact is there are other options as well. Off-campus placements. You can start of being by self-employed. You can become a freelancer, a global consultant, or you can eventually even build a startup of your own right from your MBA. Now, what I do inside my community, I have my own courses for all of this. I, in fact, help MBA students explore all of these other alternate opportunities and how you can get good off-campus placements, how you can become an entrepreneur or how you can become self-employed. And while you do all of these things, you can also make your chances at on-campus placements very easy because this is what my story has been. However, why am I sharing this photograph with you at all? The reason is because your start of your PDP, of your personality development program, of your interview preparation will start from here. The first thing for which you do not need any coaching institute's help, which you should start off right now when you're in the last week to your cat and probably you are free, you should be free uh, by now. The first thing which you need to ask yourself is that why am I doing MBA. Main MBA kyun kar raha hu ya kyun kar rahi hu? This question is such a big question. You don't realize this completely. MBA aspirants do not realize it until almost the end of their MBA. That why MBA is not just one question for you know for your interview. Usually students see why MBA as only one HR interview question. That no, it's not true. Why MBA is the basis of answering any other question which they will ask you? Because why MBA is your true reality? Why MBA should be as authentic as it can get? Why MBA should speak of the authenticity? And then all the other answers, whichever answer they may ask you, should have that same flavor. Now, the reason why I shared that photograph with you is that that could help you in your why MBA that could help you open up your mind towards other opportunities so that you do not sound like a broken record in your interview and say that hey I am doing MBA for placements because while that might be true that you're doing MBA to get the good on-campus placement the reality is that you're saying that because you don't even know what the other outcomes are or you don't even Believe in yourself enough for you to know that yes, you can achieve all of those other outcomes from your MBA. The fact is, your MBA program, wherever you are, is a great platform. They're not stopping you to seek off campus placement, they're not stopping you to become a freelancer, a highly played, a highly paid global freelancer, and they're not stopping you from starting up. It's just that because you don't know how to do it, you don't do it at all. And hence, MBA students enroll with me in my programs to learn these things that how they can build something of their own while they are in their MBA or when they are just about to start their MBA. It greatly helps not only your why MBA but also your general profile. So that's the first thing which you need to do. Figure out your answer for why MBA. This is something which you need to do as a own exercise. Then the second thing which you need to do, which is equally important for which again, you do not need any coaching institute for that. You can do it by yourself. Is that write down your entire life story. People forget that your interview preparation is basically the preparation to know yourself very well. It's about understanding who you are and expressing that that's about it that's mostly it and for you to understand who you truly are and why you want to do an MBA you need to know who you are and for that you need to completely go through your life story entirely again it should start from your schooling it should start from where you did your schooling what were your experiences in you know in your school where was your under graduation in or you know where was your entire work experience in all of those things the highlights and the achievements of your life as well as the low points of your life all of that needs to be on a4 sheets you need to write this down somewhere i would advise you to hand write these things even more impactful because once you have prepared this life story of yours you as a good marketing student will then start to understand that okay this is the product which i have to go and market in the 
interview how exactly should you know what are the things in this entire product the various highlights of this entire story which i need to highlight that is the only way when you'll truly know that hey i used to think that i am an idiot but actually there is a lot of substance in me and if i can just bring out this in terms of a good story this will have a lot of good impact this is what i also help a lot of mba students with i've seen students who have calls from you know who have had calls from i am ahmedabad i am bangalore i am calcutta i am lucknow and even some of the other schools and when you see them and when you ask them and you speak to them i realize that you know their life story is very interesting it can be presented in a great way but they don't realize that they feel that hey it's a very ordinary life they've not achieved anything but even the smallest things are achievements i've had i am a aspirants with whom i've spoken and and they've realized after speaking with me that they can actually project themselves as true heroes of their family because probably they are the sole bread earners of their family of the family of five those students those aspirants were the sole bread earners of the family that's a big thing you don't need any achievements you don't need to win any trophies apart from that that in itself is such a big achievement a lot of students they think that hey we have a five year gap thanks to maybe upsc or something else you know how will i explain that you know everything can be explained everything can be expressed well everything can be marketed for that probably yes you do need an expert however the starting point is for you to first write down your life story so that even if you were to speak to an expert to actually understand that then he or she the expert will at least know that what you are that's very important so whether you join a program or not right now which you should soon after you attempt your cat but the things which you can start off by doing right now is to start thinking about it that hey why am i doing mba and who exactly am i these are the two things most important things because let me remind you you are already late for preparing for your mba admission interviews that was about it from my end i hope that you are having a great week you are having a good experience of preparing for your cat exam i'll see you soon thanks a lot and goodbye